So, um, my name is Freeman. I'm a voice coach, so everybody calls me Coach Freeman. Um, I'm known by that uh, that tag. Uh, it's become my brand. Um, I'm the voice coach attached to Ifua for this singathon uh, uh, attempt at breaking the world record for the longest sing. Okay, now first question. I've seen that people are talking about oh her voice, the way it's going, she cannot do it. What is it really about? Does the key she sings matters? Does that does it even matter that her voice is dying off or it's about people are saying it's about endurance? Exactly. The Guinness Book of World Records is all about superhuman feats. Uh, human beings doing what other human beings, what is not normal to humans. That's what the World Guinness Book of Records is about. So it's not about skillful singing. It's more about strength and endurance, you know. So uh, how she sings is not the core. Is the fact that she's able to continuously sing for the number of hours that she, she's proposing to sing, you know, and if she's able to do that consistently, which is very, which is literally impossible, you know, it's the most difficult thing to do, you know, and that's why professionals don't try this because it's almost a professional suicide to try to sing non-stop for four or five days with only five minutes break every hour or 20 minutes break every four hours doesn't make sense but it's because it's based on superhuman feats that's what makes it into the guinness book of world records so that's what she's doing it has nothing to do with skill she's not here to show skill she's here to sing for at least 120 hours if she can pull that through when they calculate everything and she's able to have sung for 120 hours or more she would have done something what happened when we saw her sort of cutting the thing and then when you came in we saw that the remedy was very quick what did you have to do um <laughs> i mean what happened actually to her yeah she 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 lost her voice completely speaking voice singing voice everything went you know so we had to quickly get into um uh, action so to speak uh, it's a team effort the medical team is very professional but then it, you know I had to do what I needed to do to wake her voice up so we went through it, a number of stuff both medically and vocally to prepare her and package her back you know so it's a lot of stuff uh, I don't think it's something we want to talk about until after everything is done i jokingly tell people that if you insist that you want to hear it we'll have to kill you before if we tell you but but it's it's wonderful there, there are actually ways you can wake your voice up or wake someone's voice up it's not very easy it's not foolproof but in this case it works fantastically for us so we're grateful to that as somebody who works with voices which day do you think will be the most challenging day for her if she's able to pull through the first second day i think the third day usually the first day and the last day why is that because um the first day you don't know what to expect you understand and the last last day just like everything that has to do with you pulling through like fasting you know it, it's like the hours slow down it's like you can't wait but it's not coming fast enough so usually, I would say the first day, and when she pulled through the first day, it worked. Of course, 